What's going on guys, it's Bo Ethan. Hope you're having a great day, I hope you can hear me. I still don't have my voice from the meetup game that happened the day before. But today there is a 2550 public game running here at Borgata. Apparently it runs once a month. I'm hearing the game is incredible, so let's get into it. I'm excited, I have no voice, but I've never been more excited. To, I just busted a tournament. And now we get to play cash. I'm very excited to play this cash game session. I'm sure I'm probably going to be a little too jittery, so I'm going to punt. But those are the updates. Let's uh, let's buy in and have a great time. Let's get into it. Maybe I'm a little too jittery before this cash session, but I'm just really excited because it's rare to find games this size that are also public to everyone. I buy in for $50,000 and let's get into this first hand with Ace Jack Offsuit. I raise things up to $100 and... Uh, if you think there's something wrong with that, because there is. We're playing 2550. I thought we were playing 1025 for some reason. I, I messed up pre-flop. Anyways, I get the big blind to make the call with about 20,000 in his stack. So we're going to a flop of Ace Jack 5 Rainbow. Really hating my decision of raising too small here. Anyways, when he checks, I decide to bet 125 here on a board that uh, I smash. And for 125, my opponent makes the call, and we're going to the turn, which comes a 6. He checks again, and this is definitely time to start polarizing, whether I want to rep a very strong range or nothing. And of course, with top two pair, I'm going to go for a big bet of $550. And when my opponent makes the call again, oh man, gotta love this. We're off to the river now, which comes the king of diamonds. And I'm really trying to extract maximum value somehow. My opponent checks here, and... I am unaware of how these opponents play having me just sat down. I don't know what their threshold is as to how much money a big bet would be, but I said to throw out 2400 This, in hindsight, may be a little too greedy. Maybe 1500 would have done. Maybe 1000 maybe 2000 But 2400 we go, and my opponent thinks about it, but ends up folding. So, yeah, maybe my excitement needs to be contained a little bit, but oh well. I win the first pot of the night, happy to get things started off in the right direction. In the hand following that, I have queen nine of spades on the big blind. Action folds around to the small blind who raises to $200. Playing blind versus blind here, happy to call with a playable hand. Off to a flop of ace, seven, five, two spades. Very, very fun flop with the flush draw. My opponent checks, surprisingly, and I'm definitely going to bet big here, expecting that he's not going to be checking anything too strong, but I do have good equity. I blast out $300, and for this price, my opponent makes the call. Turn comes a heart, and when my opponent checks again, having two flush draws on the board, I have two decisions, and I think it's either going to be a very big bet or a check. And <laughs> I'm excited. I want to play hands. I want to build pots. So I go for a big bet. $1,300 we go over betting the pots. And once again, my opponent doesn't take too long before making the call, which now sirens off some alarm bells in my head. I got to expect my opponent to be quite strong here after calling an over bet out of position. And we're going to the river, which comes an ace. Not a spade that I wanted to see. And when my opponent checks a third time, I think it's just time to give up. I'm just not going to blast away again. Don't think my opponent's going to be folding. And when I check back, I see some great news as he had ace five. Just a, just a measly full house. So it looks like my opponent probably got max value. I ran into it. And this next hand, I'm in the $100 straddle. Let's bump up the size of the game a little bit. Brock Wilson on the table, my, my coach from PokerCoaching.com. He raises things up to $250. Big Blind makes the call, and I have Jack Six of Diamonds. Like I said, um, I am quite antsy to play hands. So let's gamble. I make the call. Going to a flop of Ace, Queen, Four, Two Hearts. Action, surprisingly, checks around. And when I see all this passivity in the turn, bringing a Queen... When the big blind checks here, I am going to blast for sure. T trying to take advantage of everyone's passive nature here on this flop. Can't think anyone's too strong, and I'm going to bet $375. I see part one of what I wanted to see get accomplished. Brock ends up folding, but part two doesn't happen as the big blind continues with a call. Now off to a river, which comes the eight of hearts. And this is just a card I'll barrel on. The flush draw gets there. I put a lot of pressure on an ace. So with a really bad hand, my opponent checks, and I've got jack high and a dream. I blast out $850 here into the middle. Can I get an ace to fold? I mean, my line credibly reps a queen a lot of the time, or maybe a flush as well, but when my opponent tanks, 
Then he grabs chips. Oh, man. No one is going to fold to my bluff today, aren't they? And it looks like he's convinced himself to call and flicks it in. I show a six. And he has ace 10. Couldn't bluff him off an ace. Uh, yeah, I am now definitely filing for the NFL after this punt. And we're moving on to the next one. Let's see if I can punt some more. I have ace 10 of hearts in the $100 straddle once again. Early position player Brock opens it up to $250. Action folds to me. And actually this time with a good hand. It's playable. It's good. It's not garbage. I make the call. Off to a flop of eight, queen, four, rainbow. I check it over to him and my opponent checks back. So nice to see a free turn, which is a bink ace. Pretty sweet spot to be in. Maybe I'll actually win this one after losing a few hands. I check it over to my opponent and he decides to blast out $500. Seems like this sizing is polarizing to either saying he has very strong hands or bluffs. And when you're sitting with top pair against this sizing and this decision, raising doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm happy to make the call. So I call for 500 and the river is another bink 10. Oh my God. Sitting with two pair, got to love this situation. I've been waiting for a spot like this all night. I check to play and flow and Brock now takes his time. After thinking his decision over for a while, he decides to bet massive $2,500 Snip snap, I'm not going anywhere. I make the call with two pair, and he shows King Jack. Backdoors his way into Broadway, which would also be the nuts. I guess I'm not allowed to win tonight at all today. Holy crap. Massive cooler there. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to be hero folding it, which made sense for my snap call because I'm not going to raise... So nice hand, Brock. You you got me here. Um, I donate a big amount of chips over to him, and once again, chipping down. Everything is not going my way, but this time we're playing a round of $100 straddles, and I peel pocket aces. Finally, time to start getting some chips pushed my way. I raise it up to $300, and everyone folds. No freaking way. Hating life right now. I did get chips pushed my way, but it's just like $150. So great. Making most of my opportunities here. This feels bad. And before moving on to one of the last hands of the night, as this is a quick session, queen 10 offsuit on the button. There's a $100 straddle on. It's a cutoff raise to $250. I think here I can definitely fold a lot of the time, but sometimes here I guess the cutoff open, I like to be a little bit more aggressive. And this is one of them where I'm pulling on full aggression here. I three bet to $1,000 and my opponent makes the call. Going to a flop of five, six, seven, two diamonds. My opponent checks it over to me, and this is really, really not a good flop to see. So on a flop that I'm definitely not going to connect on too much, I check this one back. Going to see a turn which comes a jack, which is not a bad card. My opponent checks, and sitting with queen high, I'm going to play this like I have a bunch of over pairs, which definitely would have checked on the flop a decent percentage. And now with queen 10 specifically removing some good cards against the jack, I decide to bet 700 and for $700 here, my opponent makes the call, which seems a little fishy. Maybe he has a pocket pair, maybe he has a jack, but I think I can put a lot of pressure on it when the river comes a seven. Board pairing is amazing. Less likely he's going to have a set, and he never really has any sevens as played. And now my over pairs have a huge advantage as well. So like I said, I'm playing like I have one. My opponent checks, and I blast out 3400 and immediately he grabs for his chips. Come on. Can someone believe me one time? And then my opponent grabs raising chips, counting out the rest of his stack. What is going on here? Ultimately, uh, none of his actions led to him folding at all, of course. So he calls. I just like show the cards, frustrated, annoyed at the situation, and he shows pocket tens. So you know what, guys? Sorry for the uh, very short session and short highlights, but I'm done getting absolutely whacked today. Uh, seems like everyone is just getting there against me. I'm not having fun anymore. And when that's the case, I decide to rack up, call it a day. There's always poker the next time. I'm frustrated. I'm annoyed. That was probably the worst hour of poker I've ever had in my entire fucking life.
hour and a half to, to be quite exact, yeah. Part of it is because I'm an idiot. Uh, second part of it, I just ran bad. Main third part of it was like, I don't know, I was so hyped up and happy and excited to play this cash game and make this video for you guys. But, you know, sometimes, look, you can't win every time, but damn it, it sucks when you lose. I was advertised that there was a lot of action. I'm the only one that gave action, everyone, just, uh, there's no action to be had. My hair looks pretty brutal. Anyways, I'm frustrated, I'm tilted. I have no voice. Let's just go over the numbers because it's really bad at this game. I was in for 70,000. I was out for 57, eight, 10. That is an L of over $12,000. Did I have to lose $12,000? Absolutely not. But I wanted content, so there was a point in the game. Let me just ramble. There was a point in the game where I noticed the game sucked and I had to leave. Like, I didn't want to play anymore. But I can't play, be stuck, and not make a video. So the Queen 10 hand happened. That was unnecessary, but it happened. So that was um, punt for content. But after that, yeah, uh, that, that last hand had to get out of there. No cash games like Hustler. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this one. I'm rambling. If you stuck to the end, leave a like, because I lost $12,000 for you and your enjoyment. I'll see you guys next time, peace.